lot of the work that I do revolves around the idea of chaos and finding order and finding shapes and form out of chaos. So this program I'm about to use right now, it's called Alchemy. There's a couple different ways I can work with it. One is a real simple where I can use uh, part of a whistle. But this is actually one of my new favorite ways of manipulating shape. Instead of whistling all day long, um, I've installed a small sound oscillator on, on my way down. who has one option called uh, type shapes. Make shapes based on the combination of random fonts coming together. There's also a component within this program that once you make a shape, they're vector-based, and so you can distort any of the shapes with sound after the fact. One last feature of this program that I find also as a, as a great springboard for creativity is the, is the mirror feature. Another nice component about alchemy, as you saw there, I went through all those different shapes. And so it also saves everything that I just did in a PDF file. And so I'm able to open those all at once too. That phase we just spent, so I spent maybe maybe 20, 25 minutes, and it's I consider it kind of like kind of like fishing with a giant net. And so that whole time it's like I threw out a huge net out, and now I reel the net back in and I see all the shapes that I caught in my net. This technique really takes advantage of is the technology of the human mind. And the human mind is one of the most advanced shape recognizing machines on the planet. I want to take all those shapes up another level, and so I'm going to take that file and bring it into Painter 10 and uh, explore a whole new level of working with shapes. So I'm going to go through some of the shapes I have right now and uh, add more attention and add more variety. Cool. Yeah, you know, I, also, I, I, I want to emphasize too that it should never be about Photoshop versus Painter or one or the other. Every, what I've learned is every time I add a new tool to my arsenal, the, the possibilities exponentially increase on top of each other. Bye.